Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today I'm reacting to Fear Inoculum by Tool. And today we have a banger. This is 10 minutes and 22 seconds long. That's exactly how I love my Tool songs. So I'm excited to get into it. I hope you are as well. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and let's just jump into it. I wonder where they're taking us today. It's like swelling cellos almost. And it's like alternating in my headphones, left, right, left, right. Crazy soundscape. Wow, that sounds like an Indian tabla. <laughs> Is that a sitar? No. I'm not too sure. Oh, listen to this like careful layering. Do you hear how like there's two or three layers happening right now of whatever this instrument is this like this very breathy vibrant I don't know what to call it feels like a string instrument oh yeah that feels like a tabla for sure the unique patterns because tabla, the way people play it, they play it with all five of their fingers on both hands. Using the palm, using everything. Ooh. Ooh, that's really clean. Really amazing lyrics. Listen to this mix. Hmm. Oh, Venom and Mania. Wow. These, uh, I mean, you guys can hear what's happening underneath the music. It's building and I... I have a lot of good things to say about that, but these these four lines right here, immunity long overdue, contagion, I exhale you. There's some sickness inside, and then they refer to the, I guess, venom that may be inside as mania. So there's like an inherent madness in the mind that is worth dispelling if you were to live in some level of normalcy, some kind of observer to the self where you're detached from ego. I'm not gonna overread into these lyrics right now, but this is I, I just like these these four lines. You could take it any which way you want. Really beautiful lyrics. Oh yeah, guitars, give me, give me the guitars. And with the tabla, it's so cool. That runs. Mm. Feel the light. Feel the breath. Feel the others for eternity. This 
Seaver says. to like decipher these lyrics and you know there's been many of you in my comment sections who have told me don't even attempt to decipher some of these tool lyrics just listen to the music let it envelop you you know the kind of person i am i like to at least take a stab at it to make sure that i'm working my brain muscle trying to comprehend the beauty and madness that is tool and you know anytime i see something like the deceiver in this like capitalized form you know i think of the devil i think of lucifer i think of someone with an inherent bias towards harming you and this deceiver is saying you belong to me i can do whatever i can do with what you do to you whatever i want to and command you to fear others to be inoculated with fear and that you know <laughs> given the name fear inoculum it is really <laughs> god it's so hard to like even speak intelligibly when i do these uh do these reactions to tool you know it reminds me of listen when i listen to uh, dream theater when I listen to their musicianship they're so virtuosic I feel like it's stupid for me to even comment on some of their the genius that they do because I it's hard for me to even interpret in terms of the lyricism I mean <laughs> tool speaks for themselves they really put you into that trance like state let's go back bless this immunity bless this immunity Hear the venom, the venom is what you say. Yes, this but exhale the venom. How do you come up with this? Ah, I love the, you know, even even if I'm like entirely wrong with like how I interpret these lyrics, I just love the fact that Tool makes me think about all of these existential concepts and the things that I'm like wrestling with in my mind right now, regardless if they're related to this song or not, have to do with madness and clarity. And it's almost like a, everlasting yin and yang between these two where madness is the thing that keeps you disorganized it keeps you in a state of fear attached to ego and then compared with clarity where you can observe yourself you're detached of ego and you have this continual dance of having this cure but also needing to uh, observe the venom hear the venom and you know almost <laughs> and then i think about like from an evolutionary perspective you know when there's uh, predators and there's prey, over time, they're constantly evolving and improving in response to the other uh, species and to the other population. So it's almost like an eternal dance that is required for there to be anything to exist. Because otherwise, you know, if everything is stagnant, if everything is static, would we observe? Would we feel? It would just be flat. There would be, there would be no dynamics to our existence. So in a sense, there's beauty in the fact that we have both components to ourselves, the madness and the clarity. Yeah, I, I really like Tool. I really like Tool, guy, tool guys. A headbang to the downbeat is so impossible. It's just, it's like bouncing all around. Oh, 
away from the deceiver. Cellular mitosis, right? Wow. Oh. I love I love this. Oh, I predicted it! Oh. <laughs> oh, let me pause it real quick. I, God, it feels good to even like predict even a minor part of a tool melody. So I'm just gonna shout myself out for that. Um, I really like these uh, lines here about enumerating all that I'm to do, growing through delusion from mania, because there's a lot of self growth and recognizing that we are imperfect and we have these delusions. But these delusions, these failures, these faults, if you want to call them, are precisely the mechanisms that will allow us to improve, right? Because we have to be, we have to be willing to accept failure to discover more profound truths and taking steps away from venom, taking steps away from this mania, from the deceiver, they are hard steps to take, but you'd only be able to take those steps away if you first take them through, if that makes sense. And there's a common saying, the only way out is through. And that's kind of what I'm feeling right now in, in terms of uh, the meaning of the song. But also give me your uh, interpretations in the comment section. I'd be very curious to hear. Let's keep going. I just want them to like start screaming like my metalcore brain. Like a system of a down or something. Oh my god, could you imagine Tool and System of a Down playing together? Like, I could. <laughs> what? Uh, it's so beautiful. play that part back i really have to <laughs> comment again how interesting was that lyrical delivery there there's only one two three four five six seven words in that little blip right here i don't think many bands are going to sing those seven words in the way that this tool <laughs> the tool singer does ah wow so interesting and it's very i don't know ominous feels like the obvious word to use there's more nuanced emotion that it raises within me eerie maybe Melodically eerie. Like which perspective are we taking now? Are we the deceiver again? Who's the poison? Like, am I the poison now? Or is the deceiver the poison? So
exercise the fear because the fear is the demon that resides within and it's eternal it stays forever our traumas our failures our internalized beliefs choices. Oh, another, another journey. tool tool every time i just listen to a tool song i think i'll be more equipped for the listen in listen through rather and uh it just turns out i'm like not equipped with the words with the thoughts with any of the things that i need to properly react to something like this man it's such a fun fun journey listening to this band and towards the end of the song there one of the thoughts that came to my mind was this song reminds me a little bit about a little bit of the song In the Name of God by Dream Theater. I know I referenced Dream Theater in the past. If you guys like Tool, I think, and you haven't listened to Dream Theater, I think there is a world where you may also like Dream Theater. So that's, a, I guess, a recommendation from me to you all. Um, but yeah, check that song out, In the Name of God. It's on. It's another like 14-minute uh, <laughs> endeavor, you can call it. And remin- it's a little bit, re- little bit reminiscent of the song in some respects. Not fully, obviously. Um, really, really, really cool journey that Tool just took me through. And another thing that I thought of in terms of the lyrics towards the end of this uh, song here was obviously now we're chasing the deceiver away and we want to be almost permanently rid of the venom, of the fear, of the negatives that we hold in our hearts, whether it's conscious or subconscious. And I almost have a separate point that's related to this because yes, we can, I think, momentarily rid ourselves of the deceiver, but I think the deceiver is, <laughs> they're very uh, stubborn. The deceiver comes back in different forms as well. So when you, let's say an addiction, you push the addiction down, you, you keep it staved away uh, for a, a month, a year, it, it still comes knocking on your door. You know, there's always temptation right around the corner. So this deceiver that we hope to exercise, we hope that it's permanent, but oftentimes we have to live with the reality that Deceivers, the, the deceiver is going to continue knocking and we have to continue to be mindful, continue to exercise the deceiver and get better at saying no. Otherwise, the deceiver will run rampant, will be consumed by fear. All of our life will exist as a vessel for the deceiver. We are just under its own control. And I don't know, the song is a lot about ownership of the self, the ability to w- work through these issues because you're the only person that's capable of doing it for yourself. 
Really, really cool stuff. I wish I was listening to this song on shrooms. I feel like I would come away with an entirely new and potentially deeper meaning there. Uh, but yeah, once again, Tool blows my mind away. And uh, I'm happy you guys got to uh, stick with me till the end and see that happen. So anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care and peace.